Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a classic weighted hit workout. Low impact, but high intensity by adding those dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, grab a couple bottles of water or cans of soup. That'll work just fine. We're going to burn calories and increase your metabolism. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. I hope you're ready to burn some fat and calories. Let's start to move. You're gonna protect your joints, no jumping, and this is an all-standing workout. Swing the arms, bring those knees up. Our goal right now is to get blood flowing to our muscles. Bring the knees up in front, a little twist. Get the core activated. And heels up and back. Feel the front of the leg, a little stretch there. Arms forward and back. And now let's reach out to the front, lift the front leg. Don't have to kick high here. Warming up the back of the leg, probably a little tight. Hamstrings tend to be a little bit tight, especially if you're coming from a situation where you haven't been really moving. Whether that's just getting up or you're going to work. Arms out and in. As you can see, we have a beautiful sunrise here. Hopefully, it's not going to come across too much and interfere with what you're seeing. I think we'll be all right. I'm going to grab my weight. Go ahead and grab your weights or your soup, water bottles. Like I say, super lightweight. Feet your shoulder width apart. We're going to one, two, three, four punch as we go down in the squat. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Four. If the knees bother you, stand and punch. Just take the squat out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. You're still gonna get that heart rate up. That weighted cardio. I'm already breathing a little heavy, are you? Feel it? 40 seconds on each of these moves. We have three circuits, nine exercises each. Almost done with this one. And rest. Good. Okay, cross punches. So we're punching across, palm is towards the mat. And you can throw a little squat in there. If you'd like, squeeze the bum, glute muscle. We'll punch to your right first, okay? With your right, I should say. Here we go. Squat and punch. Squat and punch. Okay. Just come in the middle, punch. In the middle, punch. Add that squat if you can. About any move can be modified and should be modified if you have pain. Okay? The pain in your joints, you want to protect them. Do not work through pain. It's just going to make any injury worse. You need to let it heal or work around it. As we get older, sometimes they don't go away, right? Punch it out. Good. Okay. Stand with those punches for one more round. Punch up, punch up, down, down. So this is a pull, this is a push. This is a pull, okay? Get ready, right arm first, deep breath. Here we go, punch, punch. Down and pull, down and pull. Push it, push it, pull, pull. If at any time the weight gets too heavy, Put the weight down. You can do this whole workout without weight. That weight adds a little bit of intensity. But if you're just starting out, the intensity may be enough without the weight. Keep going. And good. All right, I'm gonna put one of my weights down. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Get out of myself. We're going to step out, weight is together, open to the side, so out to the side. Step, step it back, other side. Here we go. Step out with your right, fly, come back. Now lift that rear leg if you can. You need to keep balanced and keep the toe down like that. All right, but if you can get that leg up, 
bring it up. Abs are tight here. Work them. So I see my arms are going out to the side. I know that when you look, and when I'm training my clients on Zoom, sometimes it looks like their arms are in a different position than they are. Just perspective, with the flat screen. My arms are slightly bent. Squeeze on my back. And out to the side. Good. All right, so now I'm going to put my weight down. One weight down. I'm going to hold the weight right here. We're going to walk to your right. One, two, three. Twist a knee. All right, so bring those abs into this. Deep breath. Get ready. Count it out with me. One, two, three, and twist. Twist. And you can move faster if you'd like, or slower if you need to. Just keep moving. That's the key. I always say, if you're moving, I'm smiling. Twist it out right here. The twist. Hold the tummy tight. Pull it. I feel like you're walking by a mirror, right? Because don't we do that? Walk by a mirror. We suck it in. Pull it in. Twist. And good. That worked out well. We did both sides evenly. I like when that happens. Doesn't always. All right, let's stick with my one weight. I'm going to step back into a lunge. As I come back, chopping that weight over the front knee and up. Or, if you're not bending, you're here. Chop, chop. Let's go. You need a lunge if you can. Twisting from the top now. Kind of at a little different angle. Or you're right here with the twist. Feel that your abs are working. They're working. Just taking a little bit of the lower body workout. You need to protect those knees. Bring my shoulders back, so I'm not leaning over my knee here. Shoulders up and back. Twist it out. And grabbing that other weight now. I like this one. Punching and kicking. So we'll punch with your right arm first. Kick your left leg. So punch and across. Abs are tight. You don't have to kick high here. Deep breath. It's all about moving. Punch and move. Palm is facing the floor. Facing my mat. In the punch. And breathe. Keep breathing. Sometimes when you're learning new moves, tendency to really focus on the move and hold the breath. So remember to just keep breathing. In and out. And rest. Take a deep breath. Almost through this round. A couple more. Gonna bring the weight up. Palm faces your ear. Weight is gonna come up. Leg comes up and back, just like that. Curl the leg like you're kicking your bum. Ready? Here we go. Push it. Add a little bounce here if you'd like. The weight gets too heavy. What do you do? You put it down, but you keep moving. Keep doing the move. Working against gravity. That's resistance. Stay with it, come on. There it is, rest. All right, one more in this circuit, and we do take a 30 second rest. Get some water. So feet are wide, toes are forward, so it's not a wide squat, okay? Toes are forward, going side to side. As you rock over, uppercut, like that, okay? Punch, punch, just rock it back and forth. Get a little rhythm going. Kind of like a little dance here. Side to side. Smile. Look down about two feet in front of you. If you're looking up at me like I'm looking at you right now, my neck is bent in a way that could add strain. So try and keep your neck aligned with your spine. And to do that, you're looking out two to three feet. 
onto the floor. There it is, here's your rest. You're one third of the way through, good for you. Grab some water. And get ready to move on. I'm gonna hold one weight. I'm gonna hold it right here. You can do this without weight. All right, you're gonna take a curtsy lunge back, right leg back, bring it up and kick, or smoothly through to the kick if you're more advanced, okay? But if you need to put that foot down and then throw the kick, that's absolutely fine. Here we go. And kick. And if you're right here with me, you may find you lose a little bit of balance, right? You need to put it down like that. Don't fall, but that balance, those are your stabilizers. Core muscles, little muscles all throughout your core that keep you upright. And if you train them, right, to be strong, what's gonna happen as you age? Good things happen, right? You're gonna be upright, strong, walking. These are things to think about. You know, we hit our 40s, and I'm nearing 50. 60, sorry, wishful thinking. Another year and I'll be 60. I know and I hope that this work when I'm 80 is gonna keep me upright and feeling good. So, we do it now so we feel good later. Ready? Here we go. Wind your back, kick it. And if you're finding your balance, you have to grab your balance right there. Know that if you come back, do this with me often, you're gonna get better and better. I see it with my coaching clients all the time. Coach a number of people through their daily workouts and their diet. And so often I say, oh, I did so much better this time. Because that practice, it pays off. It really does. These muscles are getting stronger every time you use them. That's the key. For me saying before, what is the key? Consistency. You've gotta be consistent. A little bit each day. 15 minutes a day. If you can give me that, I guarantee you, you're gonna see results. We're stepping out to a side lunge. Weight down, bring it in, push it up. Here we go. Now, if you are not lunging, you're stepping. It's not as deep. Push with that knee though. Again, core, balance right there. So important to work. And there's no need to jump around to do it. You don't have to do it on the mat. You can do it on the mat, of course. You can work abs. But all these balance moves are working your abs through this standing workout, which is great. One more, come on. I see the clock too. We gotta be finishing it right there. Good for you, all right? Remember, the weight gets too heavy, put it down. Pick it back up when you're ready. Going out to your other side. Are you breathing hard? 140, perfect. That is my perfect heart rate. Here we go. Taking 120, I'm sorry, 220, the number 220, minus your age, is gonna give you a number to start with to figure your cardio range. So take that starting number you just got, it's different for everybody because of age, multiply it by 0.65 and 0.85. That's gonna give you a low and high range, and in between, that's where your cardio happens. The lower end of your range, like 140, is right kind of the top of my low end. That's where you burn the most fat. That's why these workouts are so effective. One more. And press. Jake's making a little noise over there. You might have saw, seen him laying out in the sun. He likes it. All right, skating with one weight. Swinging the weight. Just like that. Let's step to your right first. Take a deep breath. Have fun with this. I like this one. You know that if you've been here a while. I just like skaters. Feel the core. Feel the obliques. That's your waistline. Make them work by getting that toe back and that weight over the knee. Or if you're just using hands, the hands just follow this pattern. You will still get that oblique crunch in here. Stay with me. Okay, weight in your right hand. You're gonna punch across, kind of like we did in the beginning. 
punch across, weight in, side kick. Now this side kick can be there, can be higher. You can lean way out of it, you're more advanced, okay? Here we go. Punch it in, kick. Don't kick your dog. <laughs> punch in and kick. Those of you that don't know, that's Jake. He's on his way to do something quiet. <laughs> have to edit his comments out of my videos. He's lying down in his bed. That's good. Kick it. I'd like to throw a punch there. A little kickboxing flare in this move here and a few of the other moves in this video. I love kickboxing. There's a nice beginner kickboxing video on the channel in beginner workouts if it's something you'd like to learn. If you're done, if you've done kickboxing before, there are more advanced ones as well. All right, catch your breath. Go on the other side. Feel how that works? Pretty nice, right? Here we go. We haven't done a jump yet. Punch, kick, and we won't. <laughs> Watch your obstacles. I can remember that my children are my obstacles. They're all young adults now. How'd that happen, right? It goes so quickly. Enjoy every minute. I mean it. Like, find the joy. It's hard sometimes, I know. It's very hard. But, that's what you think. You gotta think about it. When you have something negative, how can you turn that into a positive, right? That's what someone say to me just this morning. You know, this dieting sucks. I said, right, but not doing it, that sucks more, right? because you'll be back here soon having to do it again. So, so there was your first edit. I want you to step wide, weight down, bring it up, elbows towards me behind the head and up. Step wide and up. Not a very subtle edit, I'm sure. I haven't done it yet, of course, but he just started barking. He decided it was time to start barking. Stay with me. Last one here. Good, okay. Last one of this circuit, we're getting there. Okay, you wanna do a tricep kick back. So back to those triceps. Gonna just lift with the toe and in. Other side, lift and in. Ready? Here we go, right side first, lift. Lift. It's easy for me to mirror and say right side first because I want to go on my left. I am left handed. So I can do my left and say right. Stay with it. Working those muscles. When you build lean muscle, and we are, you increase your metabolism which is a wonderful thing as we get older. One more inside, and up, and down. Good, all right, you have a 30 second rest. Here's your final circuit Come, Grab a little more water. We're gonna do a squat and twist, squat, press, okay? So it's squat, right knee up, twist, squat, press. Or if you're here, twist, here, Press, all right, take the squat out if you need to. Get ready. Here we go, final section here. Here's your final circuit, down, twist, and press. Classic combo, weighted strength move right here, weighted cardio move, I should say, because we're moving, I'm using light weight. with two weights. I'm gonna step wide like we just did. At the end of the last segment, bring the weight up. Open, close. So some chest right there. And back. Get ready to step. Here we go. 
Weight through the knees, squat or not squatting, open. So maybe you're stepping over and up. Want you to get this upper body. Take that squatting out if you need to. Hold your abs tight, you are working them. These long levers away from the body. Core has to be recruited to keep you balanced. It's all about training those balance muscles, it really is. Stay with me. And I'm gonna do the other side. Just because of balance, I wanna be balanced. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put one weight down. Got a little combo move for you here. This is a discus, so you gotta swing like it's a disc. Discus in the track and field. Bring it over, back knee. Crunch it, all right, here we go. Twist, bring the weight up, stop it. Crunch across your knee. Twist, and up. Now you can speed this up a little quicker. It's a tricky one. Don't overthink it, I always say don't overthink it, just kind of move with it. Twist, crunch. Lots of hidden abs here for you, because I know that is like the number one requested thing. I want to work my abs. And my answer is you usually are. If you're doing strength training, especially combo training, or if you're doing cardio, especially weighted cardio, you are working your abs. Good job. All right, other side. Deep breath, catch your breath. How are we doing? If you want to get your heart rate, by the way, and not tracking it with some sort of device, just get a 10 seconds on the clock and find your pulse. Bring it down, bring it up, and twist. Pulse in your wrist. You can find it in your neck as well. Figure out where you can find it quickly. And for those 10 seconds, count the beats and multiply by six. You can get your heart rate. Really twist with me here. Make it worth it. We're here, coming to the end. Finish strong. Feel the glute work there. Down here, squeeze and crunch. And crunch, awesome, all right. So, one side. We're gonna lean, you can add an overhead arm. Lean, come up, rear leg lift. Leg lifts on the side of the weight, okay? That weight's gonna help balance you. Here we go. Over and up. Lift the leg, plant the foot. Finish this move. Before you do the lift, plant the foot. Before you go back to your lean, okay? Speed it up too much. You get too much going on in the opposite direction. That might throw your balance off a little more than we want it to be thrown off. So, oblique lean and up. Lift, plant the foot. One more, come on, finish it with me. Over, up, lift, foot down, good. All right, moving on, I'm falling apart here a little bit. On to the other side. All right, deep breath. Get ready, because we're on the clock in three, two, one. Here we go, over, up, that noise you hear right there. My son is in Europe for the semester and we use WhatsApp to communicate. And that's the sound it makes when he's texting me. It's kind of loud. I just like to know that I'm getting something from him. Lift and lower. It's hard to believe my baby, who I had when I was 38 years old, that was that crazy person, uh, is all grown up and in his second year of college. It's fun to watch though. It's fun to watch them grow up and become adults. It really is. All right, so take your weight. You're gonna hold it on either end, on one end like this. You're gonna bring it around. It's called a sledgehammer. Rotate the hips, weight through the knees, and then we'll come up the other way. Ready, right shoulder. Here we go. Swing it way around. Circle those hips, weight down. Up over your left shoulder. Circle the hips and down. Keep going, come on. A lot of movement here. I know we're not lifting our feet off the ground at all, but we are working lots of muscles. And when lots of muscles are working, they need lots of oxygen. So what happens? 
your heart rate has to go up, right? Your breathing, your cardio, pulmonary, to feed the heart, to pump that blood with the oxygen to the muscles. It's a cool system, right? Really think about what your body can do. It's pretty amazing. Awesome. All right, let's put the weight down for a standing bicycle crunch. Kind of like we did in the beginning, but I want you to put a little power behind it. So it's twist. This was in our warm up. But more power, abs tight, pull them in. Right knee. Ready? Here we go. Pull it in. Pull it in. Ground your back here. Belly, think belly button to the spine. Really suck it in. And smile, because you are almost done. Oh, we got one more after this. down, same leg, lift to the back. So we're getting a little more glute right there. Then we'll go to the other side. Here we go. Crunch it. Lift it. Other side. Crunch. Lift. You don't have to lift high. I don't want you to lean forward out of this lift. I want the glute to crunch right there. You should feel it. Squeeze right there. Crunch. Squeeze. Are you ready? We have about 15 seconds. And get the three beeps. Timer's done. You know, on this channel, when we hear those three beeps, we have a little happy dance. Not really, but we are happy because we did it. Awesome. Good job. There they are. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. How do you feel? Hope you feel fabulous. You know, 30 minutes, you can get a lot done in 30 minutes. Let's reach up and over. You know, I think a lot of times a barrier to people starting to exercise is thinking, you know, you need to do it for 60 minutes at a time. You need to pound your body. You know, you need a gym membership. Not necessarily. I mean, all those things happen, right? And I own gyms, so I trained in gyms for a long time. But there are other options is what I'm telling you. And it doesn't have to be impactful and hurting your joints. When I'm across, I have a 10 minute playlist and a 15 minute playlist on this channel. 10 minutes, okay? If you're really strapped for time, I believe, I really do, that you can buy 10 minutes. Agree? Agree, right? Maybe you have a few extra minutes, maybe do a 15 minute workout. And a few times a week, do the half hour workout. There are 40 minute workouts. If you have if it's a day off or you have more time, lift around your shoulders back here. Try a 40 minute. A lot of 40-minute workouts, just like the one we just did. The low impact, high intensity, cardio. Hit, it's hit. Don't be fooled. I think it's not, it is. Come on over. I work with women who, like me, did all that jumping around and feel like that was necessary. And I felt that way for a long time too. I mean, I'm just being honest. I thought, wow, look at me and all the hit I'm doing. But, my body feels it now. So I'm telling you, you know, if you're on this channel because you're 40 or over, the time for hit is past. Grab onto something if you can. Grab a foot. Or if it's not past, okay, one or two times a week is the max. Seriously, the max you should do. Strength training is your number one because it's going to maintain your muscle over time. And the cardio, like we just did with weight, gives you that strength plus the cardio, which is pretty cool. All right, so step back. It's like you just did a strength and a cardio workout in 30 minutes. Feel the back of the leg stretch here. It should feel nice. Let's go to the other side. All right, come on up. I'm gonna push one heel down. These calves, they can get tight. Be careful here. Don't push farther beyond the stretch. I want you to feel the stretch. It shouldn't, shouldn't hurt. Let's try the other side. Smaller muscles in the body right here. Let's put the arms to the 
side, T-stretch, palms are up, thumbs are back, drop your shoulders here, and really straighten your arms. And get into those biceps, deep breaths. How are you feeling? Pat your hand on the back. If you like this workout, if you want to do it again, hit the thumbs up. That's going to put it in your favorites, your library, and you can go back to it without having to go searching for it. And if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. Subscriptions help me to keep producing these videos. And there's no cost to you. I know our age group thinks subscription costs money, right? Because we're all subscribed to Seventeen Magazine. Remember those days? Hands on your knees. Round your back. And flatten, but a subscription on YouTube is just a hit the subscribe button. Round the back. And down now, roll it up. Commercial is over. Roll your shoulders. I'm proud of you. You are worth doing this. You are worth it, okay? Other direction. Roll it around. Now, deep breath, fill your lungs. Exhale, blow it all out. One more time, deep breath. And blow it out. Have a wonderful day or evening. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.